In this quick video, I'll show you how to make this part according to this drawing from Tutal Toby's modeling challenges. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all of the features that I have right now, and I'm going to start recording. So to start, we're going to sketch the front profile over here. So we have a 64 millimeter diameter circle with a 32 millimeter diameter hole inside it. And we have a rectangle that goes up this way, which is 20 millimeters thick. And the thickness, sorry, the width will define that later. We have another one over here, which this one is 18 millimeters thick and 95 millimeters long that way. For the last rectangle over here, this one is, what's that look like? Um, looks like it's 90 millimeters tall by um, 16 millimeters thick. And we just need to define this depth over here, which is 178 millimeters. We've got the profile now. Let's go ahead and extrude it. I'm going to make it symmetric. The depth is 83 millimeters for this, and we're done. Now, let's add the fillets in here. These are 18 millimeters. That's what the tool's remembering from last time. And then these two chamfers over here, they're also 30 millimeters. It's remembering that from last time. Now, let's go ahead and add this feature over here at the top. So we've got two triangles over here. I'm going to mirror it over this plane like that, and we'll add the circle in here. So the circle for the hole is 18 millimeters through, and then the angle over here is 60 degrees by 15 millimeters inward. And for this distance over here, we could not define it and leave it as an Ivan exploit, but I'll add it in anyway to have accuracy. Now we can re remove that through all, and select the two corners to chop those off too. And finally, we just need to add the hole over here on this side. So I'm going to add a circle over here, which is going to be, what's that dimension? 34 millimeters, which is, what was it? Um, 30 millimeters up. And now we can extrude, cut that down to 40 millimeters inward. OK, perfect. So now we just need to assign a material. Oh, whoops, that's behind my timer right there. And um, we're doing plain carbon steel for this. Accept that. Hit the mass properties. And at 2 minutes and 9 seconds, we see we have 3,730 grams as our mass. Admittedly, with a couple stumbles in the way. But um, we still got the right mass, got the right geometry. That's about it. So if you have any other tutorial recommendations or requests or anything like that for models like this, let me know and I'll try to get to them. Thanks.